like it is. I don't like getting shots. I don't like it at all. Never have. I don't like to be jabbed or poked or. Sorry. Hopton Piper keeps texting me. Kevin, I'm making a video. Just kidding. We yakking here, yabbing back and forth. But, uh, I've been putting off getting the COVID shot. And I'm going to tell you why. So, I got thinking. When you, I was watching The Walking Dead years ago, and I'm like, even people that didn't get the zombie, whatever it was, that made them turn zombies. They probably got something from the government and it made them into zombies. And the people who didn't turn into zombies at first didn't get it. So I wanted to give it a little time to make sure people getting this shot weren't going to start turning into zombies or, or creatures or things like that and start licking their forearms like kangaroos. So... Plus, I work from home, and I don't get out much. I don't go, you know, gallivanting all over through creation and rub it up against people and stuff. So, figured I was all, I was all good. But plus, I heard that if you drink moonshine, that you won't get it. That's just what I heard. But anyway... Yesterday morning, my sister, she texted me. She's, um, she's like a nurse. She lives in South Carolina, and I live in North Carolina. And she's like a nurse, and, um, she does those things where they put that probe up in the, where you sit down. I ain't going to say it, but. Aposcopies or colonoscopies and colonoscopies. That's what she does. And she called me, I mean, she called, texted me yes, yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday morning. Said, I got the COVID. I said, what? She goes, yep, pray that, that uh, it don't get bad. I said, I'll pray for you and I text her back, so you don't you didn't get the shot? She said, No. And I text her back and I said, Well, how are you an, uh, a butt nurse and you didn't have to get the shot? She said, Well, I live in North uh, South Carolina and you live in North Carolina. It's a little different. So I got thinking. Well my family Cause all I had the shots gonna turn into zombies. I might as well join them. Nothing to do about it now. So I went. I scheduled it yesterday. She, she said she had the COVID. I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna schedule mine. My wife is happy. I don't like them. I hate it. I hate shots. They scare me to death. So I went online. I filled out. A little questionnaire it took about 15 minutes about if you had hepatitis or herpes and all this other stuff which I haven't how about if you ever had a brain hemorrhage or a heart attack or you know you ever no are you allergic to eggs so nope <laughs> allergic to eggs trust me I filled it out and then got my appointment about 6.15. And uh, they said, to get there a few minutes early, there's some paperwork you got to fill out. I was like, okay. So I get there 15 minutes early. And they give me this questionnaire, just like the one I filled out 15 minutes online. And I told the lady, I said, I already filled this out online. I got to fill it out again. She goes, well, we need a written copy. Well, I was like, why did you waste my time? 15 minutes. I just, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have done the 
it took me about 20 minutes actually they said it was going to take 15 it took me 20 minutes i had to think some of them questions were weird so anyway she gave me a pen and i got the clipboard and i had to sit down sure enough it took about 15 minutes and i had it filled out so give it to her and she said we're well, going back behind this curtain so the pharmacist will be there in a minute. So I, they put me in this little curtain area and it was, an, it was just like a little corner or whatever. And there was nothing. So all I had to do was think about this shot I was about to get. This big old needle was going to be jabbed in my arm. And I already heard it hurt. And it was sore like the next day and all this stuff. So I was trying to keep my mind off of it. But the more I tried to keep my mind off of it, the more I was thinking about it. Well, then I heard that door open and there come that nurse in, or the pharmacist in. And first thing she said was, why ain't you had your shot? You been procrastinating? And I said, no, ma'am. I said, I just want to make sure everybody wasn't going to start slobbering and turn into zombies and stuff. And she laughed. Well, she said, well, it's about time. And I said, well, the president's done threatened to send somebody to my door to make me take the president take the uh, vaccine, I figured it'd be better if I go ahead and just take it and somebody show up at my door. So she didn't really laugh at that one. So she got ready and she just tell me all this and that about, you know, if you feel this or if you feel that the next day. And I'm like, oh Lord, I don't know if I want to do this. I'm about to call the whole thing off. And she said, here we go. One, two. I was like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Ho, oh, oh. Don't care. Don't count this thing down, man. You don't do this. You just talk about something and jab me, all right? And she said, okay, well, here we go. It's going to hurt. It's going to pinch a little bit. And I I started getting mad. I said, this lady's just trying to get me mad. To where it could she? It worked. It worked. Because I was so mad. I was like, just give me that freaking needle. And I poked myself with it. And so she finally she put it in me. And it was, oh, my gosh, it hurt. I was trying to be all big and bad but I was over here and I was holding up like, like that and I had a little tear come down the side of my face and then she said well that's it and I was like dang lady and then she said well here's your card and she said first she said now tomorrow your arm's gonna hurt and you need to and as soon as she said need to I'm thinking in my head tomorrow's Saturday I need to rest. That's right. I need to put the arm up. That even hurts right now. Oh, golly. I need to put my arm up, let it rest. Because uh, I promised my wife we was going to trim the hedges and stuff. And uh, I didn't really, it's going to be really hot. I didn't want to have to trim the hedges. But I'm going to get to sit in the house and air conditioner with my arm up. She said, You need to work that thing as hard as you can. The more you work it, the better it's going to feel. And I'm like, Oh, no, that's not what I want to hear. So I've got two bits of bad news. My arm's going to hurt and I can't rest. And then she comes out with number three, the third bad news. She hands me this card and it's got this date and my vaccination was CDC written all over it. And it says, she says, I'll see you at August the 15th for your second shot. And I said, I got to get another one of these things. She said, yeah, you got to have two shots. And I said, why? Y'all couldn't get it right the first time? She said, no, no, sir. You just got to get two shots. That's just how it works. I said, well, the flu, they only give me one shot, which I don't get the flu shot. I had to get it one time. And then that one time I got the flu shot, guess what? I got the flu that year. So I was like, I ain't getting the flu shot anymore. Anyway, I told them they don't have to give you one flu shot. They got it right. I can't get this right. I said, I knew this was a mistake. I shouldn't even come here. I ain't kidding you. It hurts even just to hold up. I've been working this arm up and down. It don't help. It just hurts. If I leave it still, it don't hurt. But if I raise it or move or pick up something with it, it hurts. So. Anyway, I got the COVID shot. And I got to go get one more freaking COVID shot.
Well, I'm going to tell you what. I hope I don't have to get one of these things every year. I'll just sit out here and squirt myself a Windex and sit here in front of the fan and just, hey, don't knock it till you try it.